so now that it's you know this is this is a territory that we're in now where superhero dragon ball super superhero has been very spoiled for a lot of folks on an official level which is why i'm even gonna bother doing this video and other videos going forward because of that exact fact um i wanted to talk about the original cell in comparison to cell max let's get into it Yo, what's going on guys it's your boy oops and of course we are back again once again how y'all doing today before i get into any any other formalities if you for some reason and you are godlike at avoiding spoilers and you don't know anything that i'm talking about or will be talking about and you don't want to know i'm gonna give you the spoiler warning now this is going over spoilers even though they're not technically spoilers anymore because toei of japan and everybody over there has officially put it out there that these are the things that we've been speculating for so long and yes they are in fact true but we're not here to necessarily talk about who was right who was wrong what was right and what was wrong we're going to talk about what is known from the recent dragon ball super superhero movie so again another reminder we're going to spoiler territory right about now i hate kids <laughs> So make sure you guys are liking, sharing, subscribing. If you, especially if you're new, I do upload a lot of Dragon Ball content. Make sure you guys are checking out all the stuff that I put up. And let's get this video to 100 likes because YouTube. So let's talk about the original Cell. Cell is a character that obviously one of the popular villains, maybe not as popular as a villain like Frieza, but this guy has obviously been around for a very long time. Obviously just, you know, off of the Dragon Ball Z name. And this dude held a, a very important role in that story. He was an android that gave these characters problems. Now, I'm not going to go into all those nitty gritty specifics, but we all know who Cell is. I'm sure if you are watching this video right now, you know who the hell Cell is, okay? This is the first Cell, right? However, when we watch this movie, here is Cell Max, right? So there's a few things that I immediately wanted to talk about directly with you guys before i even break it down any further than what i'm about to break down okay a few things cell max was a create a creation from dr hito that basically took the original blueprints from the original cell and instead of just you know doing a copy paste he essentially made enhancements right i say enhancements with air quotes because are they really enhancements but we'll get into it you can't see it in this image but cell max is a character that of course he has a tail much like you know the original cell but the difference between cell max and the original cell classic cell is that this cell max his tail does not have the capability of absorbing other characters and what have you right the original cell that was a part of his whole being his whole blueprint was if he absorbed the other androids that's how he would attain his perfect form but cell max this basically you could call this his perfect form off rip there is no other forms beyond this this is what you get and he's a he's a giant he is literally on some like ozaru type sizing okay the other thing that i should know about cell max in comparison to classic cell is that cell max does not regenerate okay now keep these things in mind because these are very important when it comes down to the overall discussion about this topic cell max versus cell and i will be bringing this up on the full power podcast so i guess i'll take this opportunity to go ahead and plug that channel as well because i'm gonna be talking about this in further length with the the boys over at the full power podcast so make sure you're uh, st uh, sticking around for that as well the absorption the lack thereof cell max does not have that we see this in the movie when gamma 2 came right back down in there he did this whole attack it was like a charge and completely decapitated one of cell max's arms which did not grow back again no regeneration cell the original one had that okay and the last and most important thing to note here is that cell max was designed with a weak point a weak spot a specific spot that if you hit 
he's done. And because he can't regenerate, that's it. He is literally a one and done character, right? And that's that. Where is that spot, you might ask? Well, if you see my cursor, it's right here. Right on the fucking dome. Right at the top of his freaking head. Okay? You knock that shit out, Cell Max is cell waxed. Okay? He's cooked, toasted. You, he's done. There is no, there's, there's nothing maxed about this dude outside of the raw power that he apparently came with. But we can get into that afterwards. So let me just finish this explanation really quick, okay? The reason why I think that with all of those main key points that I brought up about Cell Max is really all you really need to, to bring up to, you know, I guess say what I'm about to say right now is that the question now becomes, is Cell Max truly an enhanced version of the original, okay? Because if we look at the original, okay, the design was almost identical, right? Cell did not have a weak point. He could regenerate. As a matter of fact, when they thought they killed him, he came back, right? That's exactly what happened. They could, they could hit him right here all they want, but that's not gonna destroy him like Cell Max, right? So I'm gonna bring up a very crazy analogy or a direct visual comparison that I'm pretty sure and I'm very confident that I think that I'm the only person on YouTube or in general that's even gonna bring this shit up. The way I'm explaining this, it kind of blew my own mind because I was like, yo, when you think of it this way, it really undermines Cell Max completely. And it just begs the question like, damn, like was he really an enhanced version? Was he really a better version? I mean, one would obviously assume so, but if you create something with a fail safe, you know, in case something goes wrong and it and you know it's obviously an exploit to take that out is it really as good as what it's supposed to be it's intended to be you know what i'm saying that's what i'm trying to basically come at so here we go here is my example power rangers had these creatures called the putties okay the putties were your everyday fodder characters okay picture these as yamchas okay <laughs> The putties were essentially Yamchas. You, they show up, they get bodied, and that's it, right? That's what they were there for. They were like the warm-up for the Power Rangers. In later seasons, of course, the putty-type characters evolved and they changed. They had, like, you know, different names, different looks and everything. But essentially, it was like a trope with Power Rangers. You always saw some sort of putty kind of characters, right? And I'm sure... For those Power Ranger fans that are watching this Dragon Ball video right now, you y'all know exactly what the fuck I'm gonna say. And I'm sure at this point you guys are like, oh my god. And here we go. When Lord Zed came in and introduced the Z putties, the Z putties were introduced as stronger, better versions of the original putties but here's the kicker the weak point was literally the z on their torso and all the rangers had to do was fucking hit that shit and the z putties were done what the hell have we learned today well it seems like you can in theory create better enhanced versions of an original and even if its intention is to be as big strong scary and mighty right at the end of the day if you have a fucking weak point that all you just gotta do is hit it and it's it's done right i don't think they're as strong as how they actually intended them out to be. And there you have it. So the best part about this is that I was actually able to draw some sort of comparison from Power Rangers to Dragon Ball. And obviously, I'm sure you guys can already tell, like, I'm a huge Power Ranger fan. And I never thought it would have ever came down to this. But the other thing that I guess I'm going to go over to wrap this whole video up is the official statement made from Toriyama himself. Cell created by Dr. Ghetto's manipulation of cells was a formidable and powerful enemy. This time, Jero's grandson, Hedo, demonstrating his genius, used the blueprints of the cell to create a giant, even more powerful version of cell called Cell Max. However, it was made only because Magenta strongly wanted it. Hedo himself didn't have any personal attachment to it. 
Once completed, it was supposed to be a metahuman that not even Broly would be able to beat, but he was forcibly activated early and turned into an uncontrollable monster. He screams and flails around in a huge body with hideous coloring, or hideous coloring, so I felt a bit sorry for the voice actor. Actually, he is a veteran voice actor too. I'm so sorry. Okay, the reason why I wanted to bring up this official statement from Toriyama-san himself is to simply just point out exactly everything that I've been kind of already been saying in this video. Right here where he says that Hedo used the blueprints of Cell to create a giant even more powerful version of Cell. It doesn't necessarily mean that yes, he did in fact make a more powerful version of Cell, but at the end of the day, if all it takes is striking a singular weak point, you can be as powerful as you want. But when you understand where to hit and that's what you go for, it is literally just that it is what it is and there is really nothing more special to it now the other thing that i really do appreciate is the fact that toriyama brings up broly in this situation right and i think that's almost kind of like a compliment because hearing that is awesome because broly is almost like a measuring stick let's face it his power is very uh misunderstood people don't realize how strong broly even is and i'm sure broly doesn't even understand how strong he is a lot of characters within the series at this point from what we can tell so far they have a general idea the ones that really understand understand that this dude can go quite literally above and beyond expectations and he did that in his own film so for broly to be used as a measuring stick to just compare what cell max could have been but wasn't it kind of just shows like cell max was really wasn't really all that that's the whole point i'm trying to make here it was nice to see him kind of but he was just another cheap copy now wasn't he and there you have it everybody that's basically all of what i'm gonna be talking about this matter solo again just a reminder i will be talking about this yet again on the full power podcast so if you haven't already been subscribed to that channel which we are at this time almost at 300 and once we hit 500 we're gonna be doing a live episode which we normally do once a week, but we'll be doing a live episode. So make sure you guys are supporting that channel as well for the Full Power Podcast, which I will be talking more in depth about this matter with the rest of the cast. And with that, make sure you guys are liking, sharing, subscribing, hitting me up on Twitter, all that good stuff. Supporting links will be in the description as always. Make sure you guys are leaving me a comment on what you thought of my little comparison here. And uh, make sure you guys taking care of yourselves. May the power protect you. Keep it locked, loaded right here on this channel. Stay safe, stay clean, stay the hell inside. I'll see you guys next time.